going to see how to generate regression data using an inbuilt method inside scikit-learn package and this method is make underscore regression given here is an exercise which asks us to generate regression data with 100 samples and one feature and based on this question this question this exercise is divided into eight questions and let's see all the questions one by one so it says the first question says make regression data with 100 samples and one feature and assign it to variables x and y so we need to import libraries to do this so let me import necessary libraries so let's start with from sklearn dot datasets import make underscore regression and I'm going to run this fine and uh, I'm going to use this make underscore regression and when I write this make underscore regression and I'm inside this round braces there is a pop-up which shows me all the information that is available for this method make underscore regression so I can use n underscore samples is equal to 100 that is what I am looking for then there is n underscore features I only need one feature and rest for now I am not sure of all those things and there is this nice documentation to read through and description of all the parameters and what it returns it returns two variables x and y okay with uh, all these shapes and information fine what I'll do is I have to save them to two variables I'll use capital X and small y and I'll use as it said n underscore so now let's say if there is no pop-up when you're uh, inside these round brackets you can use shift tab once you press shift tab you can get uh, the pop-up that uh, was available previously okay now we know that n underscore samples is equal to 100 and n underscore features is equal to 1. Let me run this cell. So, that is what it said to make a regression data with 100 samples and one feature. Now, find the shape of x. x dot shape is what we will use, a property dot shape, and it says 100 rows of data with one column, which is x, and shape of y would be like what uh, again for each of these column there is 100 samples of data this is y dot shape is again a column matrix okay now fetch first 10 values of x so x first 10 values this is what it is so these are the 10 values first 10 values of x and then 10 values of y also so y first 10 values of y fine now plot a scatter plot between x and y using matplotlib library okay in this library section let me again uh, import matplotlib dot uh, ply, ply plot as plt and let me run the rerun the cell there you go uh, it says what does the question say plot a scatter plot plt dot scatter plot between x and y let's see what happens okay plt dot scatter plot x and y has no attribute scatter plot okay maybe it is scatter there you go uh, I got the scatter plot okay now each and every time each and every time I run this okay if I run this again and uh, I run this data again now this data has changed so this is intrinsically random data okay it is intrinsically random data this is one thing you do need to keep in mind okay okay fine now let's go to creating a data frame with X and Y as two columns there are two methods to do it uh, probably let's say let's start with method one method one in this method what we are going to do is uh, create 
data frame one with uh, x as its column and data frame y with y as its column and we are going to concatenate these two data frames this is straightforward method one let me show you how let's say df1 is equal to p for this we need to import the pandas so let's go to libraries here and we say import pandas as p let's rerun this cell fine where are we here right df1 is equal to pd dot data frame um, x with uh, okay what are we going to use we are going to use columns that is also a uh, c o l u m n s that's a uh, parameter that we can use and we'll say x as its value and we'll see how does this df1 data frame look, to, look like okay there you go so if you see this x value the first 10 values of x these are like the same is it the same 0 0.008 point minus 0.5 yeah yeah these are the same so we have created successfully created a data frame df1 with x as the column name and all the data of x inside it now what we'll do is similarly we'll create df2 which is pd dot data frame okay what are we doing essentially yeah what is x type of x it is numpy right numpy array nd dot and numpy dot nd array or numpy array and y is what y is also numpy array so we are converting a numpy array into a data frame using a method called pd dot data frame okay using this pd dot data frame we are going to convert this numpy array y into a data frame with column name being simply let's say y okay and let's use head method to check the first five rows of this data frame and so y values are minus 0.795 minus 49 let's check this okay minus 0.79 minus 49 yeah this seems to be the right thing now we have got two data frames df1 df2 let's make this and save this to a variable called frames with a list of these two data frames i want to concatenate how do i want to concatenate i want to concatenate using con cat and i'm going to pass these frames okay let's see what happens okay i see 100 200 rows of data 200 rows of data so it has concatenated one after the other so we want side by side concatenation so we will, what we'll do is we'll use a parameter called axis is equal to one and what happens is we get this 100 rows with two columns x and y beside each other i want to save this to a variable called df a data frame df and i'll check this df head use this df head method to check the first five rows fine now what we did is create a data frame with x and y as two columns so there you go we have created this data frame with x and y as two columns and this is the method one of doing it there is another method all method also where what we can do is we can create this first data frame using pd dot data frame and we can convert y into a data series and then can add that as a new column to a data frame let's quickly see that too this is method two what i'll see i'll do is i'll copy this okay fine you got x then i'll do what i'll do is i'll say y underscore val is equal to pd dot series and i'll say y 
I'm going to run this cell and I'm going to check the first y, the first five values of this y underscore val using dot head method. And if you see, these are the first five values. And also, I would like to check if this is indeed a series, the type of this variable y underscore val. And okay, one second, type of this. And indeed it is a series. So what we have got, what we have got is a data frame with x as its column and all the data and we have y underscore val as the series. Now simply what we can do is df, there is this df1 right, df1 of, you can write a new column y, create a new column y is equal to, you can simply say y underscore val. You are assigning this data um, series and creating a new column y to this data frame df1. Now after doing this let's check what df1 happens. df1 dot had the first five rows of this df1. There you go you got this data frame. So this is method 2. Method 2 is like uh, I'm, I'm, I have made this method 2 just to uh, showcase the use of pd.series. In method 1 we just use pd.dataframe. Now you can also use pd.series and create a data frame. Anyways moving on. Uh, now find the shape of the data frame. Let's say df.shape. We are going to use the shape property and as expected it has got 100 rows of data with two columns capital X and small y. These are all the seven questions that we answered. Let me quickly go through what we did. Okay, first we have imported the necessary libraries. So the entirety of this, what we did, we have imported three libraries or three imports from sklearn.datasets. We imported make underscore regression, and we imported matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we imported pandas as pd. Now then we use this make underscore regression and we made use of the two parameters n underscore samples and n underscore features as 101 because we needed 100 samples and one, fa one feature and based on these two parameters and this method we have generated regression data and this regression data outputs to two variables and we have saved them in capital X and Y. You have seen that shape of x and y are of 100 rows and these are the first 10 values of x and y and using plt.scatter from the matplotlib library we have plotted the scatter plot and then we created data frames out of x and y. The x and y type are numpy arrays. So we converted numpy array into a data frame using pd.dataframe. And, after, and we have done that same with y and we concatenated using pd.concat. We have concatenated these two data frames and used a parameter called axis is equal to one so that these get concatenated side by side, not one after the other. So there is also a second method that we have seen and discussed and we have seen the shape of the data frame to be 100 comma two, okay? Now let's go to the eighth question, final question. Now it says add a noise of seven and make regression data with 100 samples and one feature and assign to variables x new and y new. So let's say x underscore new comma y underscore new is equal to make underscore regression. Inside this, we also need something called as noise and we are going to use noise is equal to 7. So let me copy this first, which we are going to use it anyways. And then we are going to say noise is equal to 7. And I'm going to run this. Fine. Uh, yeah. Let me show what 
x underscore new 10 values of x underscore new looks like uh, sorry this is x underscore new okay and similarly how does y underscore new look new the 10 values look like first 10 value fine and let's plot a scatter plot plt dot scatter of x underscore new and y underscore new and there you go this looks like somewhat a real world data because uh, ideally if this is the line of regression there are some you know data that fall outside the line so this is a quick overview of make underscore regression to generate regression data.